Hey everybody, this is Kathy with Steamboat Studio, and I had the opportunity this morning to see Miss Sharon from the Maple Valley Library do her story time live on Facebook, and it gave me an idea. Since our storybook art and storybook science programs are on hold, I thought it would be fun to do an activity relating to the theme and the stories and songs that Miss Sharon is doing in her online story time. So I checked in with Miss Sharon and she gave me the thumbs up to go ahead and do that. So today I would like to do a couple of activities that are relating to her theme, which was frogs. So let's get started. So for our first activity, we are going to be exploring how frogs hop. Now frogs use their muscles, but they also have something that people don't have, which is stretchy tendons. Now our tendons are a lot like this pipe cleaner or like a rope, and you, they pull, you can pull on them, but they don't stretch. Now a frog's tendons have some stretch to them, and so when they bend their legs, they stretch their tendons back like a rubber band, and that allows them to hop really far. So we're gonna use a rubber band to make a little frog hopper. Now I have two small pieces of cardboard that are the same size, and then you'll need some tape. So I'm gonna take some tape, and I'm gonna use it to connect my two pieces of cardboard together on one end. And you wanna cover the whole end like this, and then I'm gonna flip this around, and we're gonna use the other side, put tape on the other side, and we're gonna create a joint. This is a joint called a hinge joint. And it's a lot like the joints in our elbows or a frog's legs. So we can see that this bends back and forth. And I'm gonna take my rubber band and a piece of tape, and I'm gonna stick the tape on the inside of the rubber band and tape it to one end of my cardboard. So it looks like this. Then I'm gonna take another piece of tape and put it inside the rubber band on the other end. And I'm gonna stick that over on the other side. So I have a little triangle here with a rubber band. Now, as soon as that's nice and secure, you can take your cardboard pieces and bend them backwards like this. And if you put them on the table and you let go, you can make it hop like the frog. So that is a great example of how frogs tendons let them hop. So another really interesting thing about frogs is that their skin is what we call permeable. What that means is that water and air can move through it. So they can actually soak up water through their skin and they use the oxygen in the water to breathe. Now we can show what permeable means with, I'm using a coffee filter, and we can compare it to a piece of wax paper, which would be more like the duck in Miss Sharon's Little White Duck song that was swimming in the water. So when we put, I've got some liquid watercolor here, and when I put the water onto my coffee filter, the water soaks in, and it soaks in and all the way through, and it'll even get some on my paper underneath. But if I put the water on the wax paper, the water sits on top and doesn't soak in. And that's because the wax that's coating the paper is what we call hydrophobic, which means it doesn't like water. And ducks have oil in their feathers that's also hydrophobic. And so when we put the water on a piece of wax paper, it will just spill right off. It doesn't soak in. And you can see there isn't any on the back. It just makes little droplets. But my color paper over here soaked in because it is permeable and the water will soak in and go through. So I have here a coffee filter that I colored with different colors and I let it dry. And I'm gonna make it into a butterfly using, I can use either a clothespin or I could use a pipe cleaner. And I can make it into a butterfly, which might just be one of the insects that a frog likes to eat. 
So I hope you had fun learning about how frogs use their stretchy tendons to make them jump farther and learning about how frogs' permeable skin lets them breathe. And I hope we can do another video when Miss Sharon does her next story time. So I'll see you soon.